Stop wasting money on your bird. Hello everybody and welcome back to the bird aviary. You heard that correct. I said stop wasting money on your bird. Not don't spend money on your bird. But where you can, why wouldn't you try to save a few dollars? Some of those toys that I have seen so far for your bird are kind of expensive. And a lot of it's just made out of plastic and wood. Little odd things like that. So, I already started to create a few different toys for my bird. And I wanted to show you some of the things that I have done since in his aviary. So I've always been one to try to save money in any hobby or any aspect of life for that matter. I've never really had a whole lot of it. So if there's ways that I can do things that will save a little money, then that's what I'm going to do. Now, don't get me wrong, there's certain things that you're going to have to buy and need to buy and you really shouldn't shortcut it or go the cheap route about it. But as far as general things, I would like to make a lot of stuff. So without further ado, as you can see inside of his cage here, I got this here little ring. And all this is is a cardboard core that I got from work. I just cut it down. Obviously, I asked my boss if I could take it, but he said, yeah, and I cut quite a few of them with some little hemp rope, and voila, you got like a swing for him, or they'll like just kind of pick at it. And then inside of here, this pole, if you look down here, you'll see a basic one. Uh, same concept, though. Uh, that was like cheap as could be and it works as a perch or a ladder and I took the hemp to wrap around it because it's actually kind of uh, smooth and slick and he can't grip it the best well if you add a little rope or something for him to grab he does just fine with it right here you just have some cheap little Dollar Tree toys um, plastic and again just hanging from a piece of rope and he can play with that. Now obviously this I bought. Um, it's a made toy. And I'm sure I could probably make something like that. But you know. I'm not saying don't spend money on your bird. I'm just saying save some money where you can. So that this hobby or whatever experience doesn't become overwhelming. And it's always oh I gotta buy this. I gotta buy that. Um. One of my favorite things so far, just with that hemp rope in the corner of his cage, I have made this little landing hammock, whatever you want to call it. And he actually goes up here quite often. It makes me pretty proud that he uses it. So that's pretty neat. Now the ladder I bought to hook on there, that was something that was already made. But again, you could get some uh, chopsticks little pieces of wood in the arts and crafts section at your Hobby Lobby or where have you and you can build something like that and I actually want to do the same thing uh, build a couple more and then of course nature you know trees there's a whole list of safe woods for birds that might be another video totally and completely, but as you see him just sitting there chilling, you can uh, prop him up. Uh, I'm trying to turn this whole room into his aviary. Yesterday he was up here on this uh, perch. He looked pretty good when he was doing it. And then over here I got the same thing going on. A whole tree. <laughs> And uh, he looked pretty cool on it. I hung some uh, rope. I don't know how you would uh, save technically on this. I mean, don't buy super expensive rope and just try to hang some rope around the room or your bird's aviary. Just be creative with ideas uh, instead of going on to Amazon or eBay or something of that nature. 
I mean, don't get me wrong, you could go on there and look for ideas, but some of those things, see if you feel confident that maybe you could uh, make them yourself or something similar to it, just to save, you know, a few dollars. Some of these things, like these little dangly things, though, they're uh, cool. I think that cost me like $12, $13 when really I should be able to get these little plastic connector rings at like the Dollar Tree and build my own little thing for like seven, eight bucks. Right here you have plastic core rings just zip tied together onto the cage and he'll come pull at them and chew on them occasionally. So there's just so many ways that you could uh, save a dollar in this hobby and if I can, then I am gonna try. Now this is uh, day four with my man. I call him a man because I still don't know his gender. Um, I have a video on that. Uh, I'd have to get a DNA test done on him for him to, uh, for me to know for sure. But we're just gonna go with the male. That's, that's what I'm thinking. I could be completely and utterly wrong but, oh, he's trying to tell you something. You gonna talk for everybody, huh? You gonna tell them your opinion on DIY toys? Do you like them? What's your thoughts on them? Huh? You gonna tell us? You gonna tell us? Okay, well, he ain't gonna, he, he's kind of chirping, but he ain't trying to tell us his whole thoughts. But so far, he seems to enjoy them. He plays with them a lot. He said, I'm going to come out here and tell you what it's about up close and personal, huh? See, just like that, just adding this little stick, just a random stick from his cage, he loves that. It, that's, that's a whole nother little perch for him. It gets him out of the cage some. Huh, Bubba? So remember everybody, don't waste money on your bird. Save money, create your own toys and projects. Thank you for watching everybody, and until next time, we shall see you later, huh little guy.